What's up everyone, T. Diana bringing you a special break here today. With me today I have Yukiko Amagi from Persona 4, the game, the video game. Um, this is not the Mega House version, not the cheap version, this is the expensive version of Yukiko. This is made by Otar, she's 1-8 scale painted. And she is sculpted by Saito Fumiki. <laughs> so I'm definitely excited to open this uh, figure. She is my favorite girl from the Persona 4 game next to Chie. Uh, I picked her to be my girlfriend in the video game because I thought she was funny. She she was shy and she and she was very cute looking and uh, she's just very what's the word for it? Modest? Is that modest I suppose? So yeah, that's why I picked her to be my girlfriend. And plus if you've seen some doujins of her they are pretty fucking cash. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 enough of me rambling. Um Let's begin with this unboxing. Uh, here's the front window once again. Yukiko. Let me focus a bit. Uh, there you go. She comes with two accessories, I believe. It's the her weapon, which is her fan, and the pair of glasses that you see right there, which allows her to see in the TV world. Uh, and that's about it, I believe. Um, there's no other accessories that she comes with. Uh, very simple front uh, window and all the advertisements are the labeling. See Persona 4 1 8 scale pre printed figure sculpted by Sight called Fumiki. Very simple front box, very simple, very simple. Alright, let me zoom out a bit. Turn to the right side. It's the right side of the box. Nice preview. I think I will put her glasses on when I open her up because you've already seen her without her glasses. Might as well just have her with her glasses on. She looks badass either way. Alright, it's the right side. Amagi Yukiko. Alright, now to the back side. Zoom out a bit. Here's her back side. Let me focus a bit. Alright, there we go. Persona 4. Amagi Yukiko. And there you got disclaimers and all that. Stuff. Made in China somewhere around there. Oh, there's a sticker of uh, authenticity right there. So it is a real figure. Don't worry. It's not a cheap bootleg I bought off of eBay or anything like that. It is legit, real, expensive Yukiko from Alter. <laughs> Alright, let's turn to this side. Oh, on this side, you have a different picture. Look at her. She's so cute. So adorable. And that's it. Nothing else special. Just. A preview on the side, and that's about it. Uh, on the top side, uh, nothing special either. I'm gonna get Yukiko Persona 4, same thing as the front box or the front side of the box. All right, uh, now that I have showed everyone what she looks like inside of her box, I'm gonna take her outside of the box and share my thoughts and whatnot on this beautiful lady. All right, everyone. Here is Ms. Yuki Go Hamagi from Persona 4. Now, there are some huge differences between this one and the Mega House one. In this one, she has her weapon, which is her fan, and she has a pair of glasses. Uh, I don't think anything's cast off. She's pretty much just one piece that's all together, so you can't take off her skirt, or you can't take off her blouse or her school uniform or anything like that, you just get the fan and the glasses, that is all. Very simple figure indeed, but also very expensive because of the character. Um, so yeah, let's start with this figure review. Now I am going to zoom into this face real quick, her pretty kawaii face. Uh, let me focus a bit, there we go, there's Ms. Yukiko. Um, I decided to put the glasses on because why not? She's in her battle stance and she's ready to go. She's ready to summon Persona and wreak havoc. Um, you can choose to have her without the glasses, and it's, it's totally up for, to you. But um, I, I just wanted to put her glasses. She looks very sophisticated with glasses on, and pretty intelligent, I must say. So she's in her standard attire, her school uniform, which is red on top, black on bottom. Uh, the, she has that yellow 
what's it called, handkerchief going on right there, or whatever's tied around her neck. I'm not sure, or a, a tie or something. Uh, let me move down a bit. Like I said earlier, standard uniform, black skirt pattern. Uh, yep, exactly like the game. That's the black stockings, socks, and then her pants. I mean her boots. Not boots, shoes, I mean. And that's the Persona 4 base. Very simple figure. But also very expensive. It's because it's a character. She's very rare. I hope they release more Persona figures in the future because I'm beginning to become a huge Persona fan. Very fun game. And the remake they're remaking Persona 4, the golden anime thing. They're remaking it, and I don't know why. But uh definitely looking forward to that. So let me turn to her right side real quick. Different angle right here. You can see the details that's in her hair is like floating up. Which trying to depict her, I guess, uh, summoning a persona or doing some sort of, you know, healing or some sort of command that relates to battle. Uh, you can see her, her side boob right there, very detailed. I like that. Kudos to Atlas. I mean, not Atlas, Alter. Very sexy. Look at that. Ah, oh, that side boob. <laughs> Alright, and focus to her fingernails. As you can see, it is detailed very well. That's why it's expensive. It's detailed very well. You can see in her fingernails that it's painted. Uh, so, kudos. Kudos to Alter. You do, you're doing a great job. You're impressing me so far with this figure. It's worth the money. It's worth the wait. Alright, now let me focus back on her body. Here is the rest of the left side of her body. Boots, not boots. Why do I keep saying boots? Not boots. It's flats. Shoes. Uh, as you see, it's very, very detailed. Very detailed shoes. It has like the laces on the side, and like a old buckle that is attached to the shoe. So very, very, very detailed. I am pleasantly impressed. All right, now let's turn to the back side of Ms. Yukiko. Uh, nothing that special, it's just a whole bunch of hair flying everywhere in your face and whatnot. But like I said, very detailed and amazing. Alright, let me move down a bit. Focus. I guess, as you can see, there's a pattern going down her back. Uh, it's like spades or, or not spades, a diamond, I mean. Alright, same skirt. Nothing special, just her backside. Alright, now let's turn to her right side. Now this is the main point of interest right here, which is the fan. Uh, as you can see, more side boob action going on right there, which pleases me very, very well. Pleases me a lot. Um, just let me move down a bit again. Uh, same action going on, nothing that special. It's very plain. It uh, just pretty much represents Yuki Kill from the game. Alright, now let me zoom out a bit and try to zoom into this fan right here. This is part of her accessory. Now the fan is very easy to put in. You just put onto the side of her hand and it stays there. It is a green fan. It is not the pink fan that you see on the art cover of the box or the cover of the box, I mean. Um, very simple. I can take it out. Let me take it off for you real quick and then show you guys what it looks like. All right here is the fan right here it's all green it's very very detailed let me focus there we go it's the same it's the same pattern front and back all right looks like a peacock to me you think about it <laughs> like a peacock tail all right and that's it that's it for miss yuki go i don't have much to say about yuki go except that she's very expensive and she's pretty much worth it. Uh, you must like the character in order to get the figure though. So there's a lot of people who do not like Yuki Go because she's very quiet, she's very shy, and she's very corny at times. So that's why people may not like Yuki Go. However, I like Yuki Go because of those reasons. She's shy, she's corny, and she's very pretty too. So, yeah. If you're a fan of Yuki Go, you know, pick her up. Very nice figure. Uh, I am planning to begin a Persona collection pretty soon and I'm glad I have Yukiko Promoter instead of Mega House. I mean you can pick up Mega House, it's also very cheaper. It's about fifty dollars I believe or sixty. Well this one can go up to like a hundred something dollars. I don't remember how much I got it for. Hundred something dollars. That's 
that's for sure. So if you really want Yuki Go, this is the figure to go for. Very detailed, much better pose than the other one in my opinion, and it's very detailed, and I like it a lot more. Uh, let me take off her glasses real quick. You you can see her with her glasses too. There you go. With, there's her without her glasses. All right, everyone. That's it for this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoy making it because it's Yuki Go, the corny, awkward, shy, cute, quiet girl. <laughs> There's a long list of words to describe her, but nah, that's how I feel about her. She's very cute. So yeah, once again, everyone, thanks for watching. Like my video, comment on it, let me know what you guys think, if you plan on getting it, and subscribe to my channel. Look out for my next video. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Sayonara.